it's that time of year. Yet again, we've made it, the Ulta Spring Sale. This is their 21 Days of Beauty. This video is not sponsored by Ulta. Holla Ulta, I wish. No, I always do these kinds of videos because I love sharing everything that's on sale. It's just so exciting. And this year, as I was perusing what's gonna be on sale, there are so many things that I am personally interested in buying and you have to buy the different items of the sale on the day they're on sale. So. If you are new to this kind of sale, basically each day for 21 days, each day they have a grouping of products that are on sale for 50% off, which is insane. Most beauty sales are like 20% off, but they're only on sale for that 24 hours. Then the next day, a different group of products on sale. The other ones are no longer on sale. So it really is a kind of like makes you sweat <laughs> under the collar. <laughs> You're like worried things are gonna sell out. Um, and I know some things do sell out, but generally you should be good to be able to get your hands on most of these. I did make sure they do have free shipping over $35, including during the sale. That's like always their free shipping rule. So if you were to purchase things on multiple days, if you hit that threshold, you wouldn't have to pay for shipping, which is nice. Of course, you could also go in store too if you're near one. I'm not terribly far from one, but I always have the fear that I'm gonna drive all the way out there and spend the money on the gas anyway, and then it like be sold out. So I'm like, I'd rather just, <laughs> hit the minimum or just pay for the shipping. <laughs> Plus I do know some of these sales are online only sales. Not all of them, but just some of them. So I'm gonna have a link in the description box. It is an affiliate link like all of my links are, which means I might make a small commission if you purchase anything, but that will take you directly to the sale landing page. You can see what's for sale today, um, what's on sale today, I should say. So thank you ahead of time. If you do click that link, it does support my channel, but either way, let's talk about what's on sale. <laughs> Day one. This one, they started off so strong. When I saw this on the list, I was like, they are not messing around for the sale. The MAC Paint Pot, like one of my top like five makeup items I use all of the time is gonna be $12.50. And that should be today. If you're seeing this on Sunday, I'm making it live. That's today, okay? That is very exciting. So I use the shade Painterly. That is my absolute favorite. They have a bunch more shades now available on Ulta that they didn't used to have. So now I'm like, maybe I get some like different colors. <laughs> but painterly I use, it's really close to my skin tone. So like if I'm doing a really simple makeup look with not really any eyeshadow, I'll just kind of rub that all over my eyes, put on some mascara and it just kind of makes it look really even and intentional. You know, when you, if you ever don't put eyeshadow on and you've done everything else and you just like, your eyes just look, like for me, they look a little uneven that's where painterly comes in because it just kind of evens it out. It looks really nice. So I love that formula. I've loved it for years. $12. <laughs> Unreal. I think that's why I love this sale so much. It brings down so many high-end prices down to more like drugstore prices. And I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So Tarte has their Man Eater Mascara and their Face Tape Foundation on sale 50% off. I've not tried either one of these. I really don't have the desire to try either one of these. First of all, I am trying so many mascaras right now. Do not let me buy this mascara, you guys. Do not let me do it. The Face Tape Foundation, again, I've just not really quite had the interest. Let me know if you've tried it, if you feel like it's like unreal. But Peach and Lily is one of those brands that is viral everywhere. And I've been wanting to try something from the brand. And I think, I think I'm gonna buy today their Power Cocktail Serum. So it's a lactic acid serum that's gonna help the skin cells kind of turn over. It helps exfoliate your skin in a deeper way, more in a chemical way versus like a physical exfoliation. I like lactic acid serums. It's kind of like the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, but this is gonna be on sale for $25 instead of like $50. So that's one that is hanging out in my cart and I might be adding a paint pot to the cart and then check it out, we'll see. Okay, we better keep moving because there's, there's a lot. So day two, Monday, March 13th, they have the Lancome La Base Pro. So it's an oil-free long wear makeup primer. Now for me, these kinds of products, like looking at the pore and after, it definitely blurs the pores a little bit. I'm just not really someone that uses primers like this very often, but if you are, this one looks like it's pretty nice. Let me see. The reviews are really good, 4.7 stars, and it's got like 1,300 reviews. So. Generally, I think Lancome does a good job with their face products. I tend to like a lot of Lancome foundations as well. This is just something that I think a lot of you guys might be interested in. It's just not personally something I'm wildly interested in. Now, this is something, boy, I'm gonna be buying something every day. <laughs> it's in the name of science. 
REM Beauty has, or REM Beauty has their Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette. So that's gonna be 50% off. Is it any of them or is it just that one? Let me see. I'm now realizing, okay, so the palette line is called Midnight Shadows. Then there's a bunch of different colorways. So it looks like any of them. If I buy one, cause I've been wanting to try more from this brand. If I buy one, I would probably buy Baby Doll. Cause that neutral girl here, that's probably what's gonna happen. But there's a lot of different colorways. Like if you like warmer shadows, cooler shadows, darker, lighter. So that's one I probably will buy. What's the price on that? Yeah, it'll be $12, $12. You can barely buy a palette at the drugstore for $12, which is ridiculous. They also have the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. This is the first time this has been on sale for the sale. It's a hydrating lipstick. I tried this a long time ago. I remembered feeling like it was good. But again, if you're like dying, they have a lot of shades. So if you were like, I need a good hydrating lipstick and you want a specific shade, 34 options, that's a lot of different options. Um, and boy, oh my gosh, that is a lot of options. So it will be $10.50. That's awesome. All right, day three, Tuesday, March 14th. The Derma Blend Setting Powder will be $14. That is a very popular product. Um, it's kind of a makeup artist love type powder. Um, I've used it and owned it and I liked it. I thought it was a really nice loose powder. I just don't use loose powder like that very often, so I no longer have it, but it was really nice. This is something my mom might be interested in. The Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Capsules. So these will be $27 instead of 54. I think like depending on how many, but I, oh yeah, there's like a 30 count, a 60 count, and a 90 count. It says that this serum, so it's within the little things that you'll kind of pop each one open and use that amount. It says it strengthens the moisture barrier and minimizes the signs of aging. Again, really good reviews, 4.5 stars, 921 reviews. I remember, I think my mom used to do this. I should ask her. She used to use these little vitamin E, like, gosh, was it like the kind you'd buy to take? And I feel like she'd pop them open and put that all over. I've got to ask my mom. She never picks up. I don't know why I'm thinking she will. She always ends up calling me back like two seconds later. Like she runs to the phone and just misses it. Hi, mom. Hi. You look pretty. No. <laughs> yes, you do. You always look pretty. I have a question for you. Was it you or your mom or both that used to use vitamin E capsules for your skin? Caramel Murphy. Dad's mom. What did she do? She just get the what, vitamin E, the way you said. Yeah. I wonder where she heard that. I don't know. I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> well, yeah, couldn't have been on Facebook then. That is wildly interesting. I was just thinking about that. That's why I called you. And there's this like skincare brand that makes, it's not vitamin E, although vitamin E might be in it. It's like little capsules here. Let me show you. I feel like you did that for a while then. I did do it some. Yeah. I did it for a while. Because I, I remembered that. And I was like, oh. We have nice skin, so oh, that was cool. yeah. you do. All right. Well, I love you. I just wanted to ask because I, I knew that was the thing. And I was like, where did I, where, why do I remember that? That's what it was. Yeah, you probably remember me doing it too. Yeah, but it was Grandma Murphy. Yeah. Go yeah. figure. That's funny. That is funny. All right. Well, I'll, I'm going to keep filming, but I, <laughs> I love you. All right. Well, that was a fun little sojourn. Where were we? So anyway, those ceramide capsules actually look kind of cool. And of course now I'm like, oh, so they also have a grouping of cruelty free brands that are 50% off like specific products. So within this, they have the patchology restoring night eye gels. I feel like these are usually on sale, but if you're in need or you're wanting some of those like little eye patches, you can like leave on while you're in the bath or whatever. These are definitely my favorite. They're kind of like low key, but they do exactly what I want them to do. They feel cooling. They kind of, I think, make my under eye look a little bit better, especially if you're like prepping for like something special. Um, they're not something I use every night because I don't know that I notice such a difference that it's like necessary, but it is really nice to have those kind of like in your arsenal when you're wanting to pamper yourself, just saying. But I'm now seeing Patchology also has their Serve Chilled Rosé Hydrating Eye Gels. So I think you'd like put those in the fridge and like, That'd be nice. Okay, avoid this product, the Beekman 1802 SPF 35. I think I bought a full price and then I was like, dang it, it was on sale like weeks later. This stuff just looked terrible on my skin. It was supposed to be like an SPF, right? It was real milky and it just, it always just looked odd on my skin. And anytime I put makeup on top of it, forget it because it did not, it didn't mesh well. Um, but not only that, it would separate really easily. So I don't know. I felt like really quickly it got really weird and it wasn't great to start with. So that's one I would avoid. But one that I'm thinking about is the Carez Wild Rose Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. 
I remember trying a Carrez sleeping facial years ago, years ago. And it was one of the first like more expensive skincare products I ever bought because I loved the idea of a sleeping facial where you would just put it on and leave it on overnight. And like, that was that, which the more I think about it, I'm like, that's kind of the same as like a moisturizer that just has really, really good stuff. In it. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I love the idea. I still to this day love the idea of a sleeping facial. So that's one I'm kind of thinking about. And I haven't tried anything from Carrez in a while, I feel like. Wednesday, March 15th, day four. We've got the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liners. Those I would never ever pay full price for, but they are a very good liquid liner. And so for this sale, they'll be $12, 100% I would recommend for $12 because they're really good. Again, that's bringing it right, right on down to drugstore town and I need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> anyway, but really it's a really good liquid liner. If you're in need of one right now, I would totally buy that for $12. Okay. I might buy this. This is the first time it's on sale. It's the Murad Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. Apparently during the sale last year, this was like one of the top two or three sellers for the whole sale. So a lot of people like this. A lot of people bought it. So I'm so intrigued. So it says it's a powerful peptide meets hyaluronic treatment that virtually erases the look of wrinkles by visibly smoothing and reducing wrinkle intensity instantly. And then it says instant results are not permanent. But if there are really instant results, that's interesting. Does it like numb the area? How's this work? Okay, I might buy this. Plumps, smooths, and reduces wrinkle intensity on contact. Works like an instant filler with highly bioavailable hyaluronic acid. I am so, so interested. So, okay, 100% showed visible improvement in wrinkles, 100%. Glabella lines and um, the, the 11s, those. 96% saw smoother. Okay. I'm, I don't even need to read anymore. I'm definitely buying this. Okay. <laughs> you with me? So that is on day four. I need to add that one to my uh, list. That is wild. Um, so it'll be $39.50 instead of $79. Lorac Pro Palettes are also on sale. So they'll be between $20 and $24. Um, they have quite a few different ones. I have not tried Lorac eyeshadows in a while. They have their Noir one, their Fairy Tale Forest, and their Soleil one. If I bought one, mm, I was gonna say Soleil, but pa the Noir one looks pretty too, because it, well, that might be too much shimmer, said Jessie, never. Fairy Tale Forest is definitely a little darker than what I would want. Yeah, the Soleil one looks really pretty. So that's one that I might consider. I'm not like dying to have it, so I probably won't buy it, but it's definitely worth bringing up. All right, day five, Thursday, March 16th. There is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Okay, this stuff works. It does work, okay? <laughs> but it is like extreme. <laughs> um, it just, if I'm remembering this product, let me double check that I'm talking about the same one. Yeah, it just really does give you that like tangly tangle. Like it's a lot. Um, to the point where like it, it really does burn and I'm looking at some pictures and some people had reactions and again It's a very personal thing But like looking through the photos on here some people were having some reactions to it, too So if you know you're sensitive, I would stay away if you know you don't like the like burning tingle stay away But if you like the burn and you want some like it really does plump then this is the one for you You know about face is a brand that a lot of people are talking about recently and they have these matte eye creams and they have some like there there's some already sitting in my cart okay because they look really nice but um those are not on sale unfortunately but the same brand has their matte lip and matte lip pencils on sale so these will be between six and eight dollars during the sale i like their packaging of things they're kind of more squared off and but like rounded it's kind of cute i'm not dying to try a new lip product but i might because i'm already buying some other about face stuff so i'm like well <laughs> In the name of science, maybe I should try this too. So I might end up buying the lip color. I probably won't buy the lip liner. So Strivectin also has their vitamin C serum. Wow, it also has retinol in it too. So it'll be $36 instead of 72, holy moly. The brightening power of vitamin C and the correcting power of retinol come together in one supercharged lightweight serum. So you would, you would only use it at night. Oh, hmm. It says shake well, apply one to three drops to clean face in the morning and evening. So the thing is with true retinol, and obviously this is mixed in and there's a million forms of retinol, but that makes me question the amount of retinol or the type that's in it. Cause if obviously you can do that, but if 
you're able to use it morning and night, it's probably not gonna have the power of retinol that you might want. I think for me, I'd rather use a vitamin C serum in the morning, but then at night use my retinol because retinol can make your skin react really poorly to like sun and stuff, so you'd want sun. So there's just a lot, and so the idea that you'd be using something with retinol morning and night every day, I don't know. Again, I'm sure it's probably safe too because the level that's in there is probably low enough or whatever the form. I'm obviously not, okay. I'm not a dermatologist, not a chemist, not it. so just bear with me. All right, day six. This is the day. This is the day, guys. The Clarins Double Serum, I might buy again. Every few years I try it again. And I always really love the way my skin looks. Like genuinely, it makes my skin look freaking beautiful. But it has such a strong smell. Like Clarins, can you just make a fragrance-free version? Is it, is, I just don't get it. It's very, it smells like perfume, but it makes your skin look really good. <laughs> so I don't know, it, it really is. It's one of those products that again, I think this is one of the top sellers during the sale. Um, it is regularly $90, it'll be $45. I might just try it again, because again, I remember what my skin looked like and it looked real good. <laughs> now, the other reason this is the day to shop, day six, is one of my like top favorite perfumes is gonna be on sale. It's the Lancome La Vie Belle. It's gonna be 50% off and perfumes are expensive. So the original price, like the most, the biggest one is 144, so it'll be on sale for 72. The smallest one is $31 you'll get for 15. So there's a range obviously in there and I'm sure there's probably a medium size, let me see. You guys, that smell is, I have never been asked more what I'm wearing than when I wear that perfume. Hairdresser, nail salon, um, do freaking grocery store, where else? I just, I'm, I'm constantly asked what I'm wearing. So it just is one of those smells. They have like the small purse spray, that's the one that's 34, so it'll be 17. And I'm almost out of my Ariana Grande cloud perfume that's in that size that I keep in my purse, so I might. If I'm buying the Clarins anyway, I might go ahead and buy this so I can have it as my purse perfume. Ooh this sale. They also that day have the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear and their tinted brow gel for 50% off. I like both of those. Um, I actually, the clear gel, it'll be $11. That is like, if I'm picking a favorite clear brow gel, that's the one. It holds your brows in place like hairspray, which I personally like. I know not everyone does. I love it. So that's one I've repurchased a lot. Day seven, Saturday, March 18th. Um, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream will be $26 instead of $52. That is a cult favorite moisturizer, especially, and it is a lovely moisturizer. I've used it off and on over the years. It's one that anytime I get it in like in PR, I usually give to my mom and my sisters because they love It Cosmetics. It really is a good cream. If you, especially if you're um, older than me maybe, you it's a good cream. Like if you're wanting an anti-aging, really nice moisturizer, that is definitely one I would recommend. Oh, this is the day, okay. The Benefit Blushes, the full-size new powder blushes, all of them are 50% off. So these will be $15.50 instead of $31. So the shades that I personally already have that I know I like are, they had, are there more shades? <gasps> so I have the shade Peachin. That's definitely my favorite of the three that I've tried. I also have, ooh, Pom Pom looks pretty. I'm telling you, they added more shades. Um, I also have tried Shelly. That one's a little bit brighter coral. It is pretty, but again, I like um, Peachin more. I also have Starla, which reminds me a little bit of the Dallas blush. It's not quite the same, um, but I do, I like that one. Sunny looks like a new shade. And what is this shade over here? Oh, Willa, okay. That's the one I'm buying. I've been trying to buy Willa and I want to say it was out of stock when I tried to buy it. And it's kind of like, it says it's a soft neutral rose blush. It's just like a really light rosy color. That's my favorite blush color, period. And so I've got to get my hands on this. So for 15 bucks, that is happening. Oh, Beauty Blender has their bubble sponge also on sale for $10. I think it's like a slightly different shape. Again, I'm going to link my favorite Amazon sponges. I have two different favorites one that's like a traditional shape and they're like a couple dollars per sponge. They are so good, like so, so good. And then the other one that's got like a flat edge I really like because I just don't think you need to buy the Beauty Blender. <laughs> like I, I like it too. And anytime I've had the Beauty Blender, I'm like, yes, this is so good. But it, I really can't detect a difference between my other favorites in that. But for $10, you know? Day eight, March 19th, 
The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is one of my absolute favorite foundations. It is on sale for $24. I wear the shade, if you are curious, Ecru, E-C-R-U, because I get a lot of questions on that. It is a great shade match for me. I absolutely love that formula. It's one that, I, when I would always think of that, I'm like, Double Wear Foundation, it's gonna be like way high coverage and like super cakey, no and no. It does have good coverage, but it just looks pretty, especially like I always apply mine with the sponge and it just looks flawless on the skin. And so for $24 to get, this is a foundation that's been around for I think decades at this point, And it's been a favorite for decades for a lot of people. It's, it's that good. Believe the hype. It's one that I feel like used to get a lot of hype. It doesn't get as much anymore. I still absolutely love it. Highly recommend. And it is especially pretty over like a glowy base or like a really well moisturized base. They also have the Brow Wiz for $12.50. That's a good one to just like throw into your order that day because it's a great brow pencil that again brings it down to the drugstore price. I think you can get the same thing at the drugstore, but I mean, if you can get the high end brand for the same price this time, like, why not? <laughs> and then they also have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Um, I think this is one Tyler has tried and really liked, so I might consider getting it for him. It's just a really nice nighttime serum. All right, we're chugging along, baby. Monday, March 20th, so this is day nine of the sale. We're almost at the halfway point. They have these Smashbox primers, 50% off. So they have relaunched, it looks, well, maybe just repackaged a lot of theirs. Um, so they have like an anti-redness one, an illuminating glowy one, their primerizer, oh, I'm sorry, their primerizer plus, they have their original photo finish. But yeah, it looks like they still have the old packaging and the new packaging, which I find interesting. But those are pretty good. Again, if you're a primer person and you like using a certain primer for different things, I do think those are good. This, I'm starting to think, like so many of these are random favorites of mine and the fact that they're on sale is so freaking cool. So this is such a random one, the Kapari Sun Shield. So this is a like body SPF, but it is like a shimmery glow gel. It is amazing. It's my favorite thing to pack when we're going on like vacation or just in the summer to put on my legs and arms because it's giving me that sun protection, but it's beautiful and glowy. It gives you like beautiful Beyonce legs. But the thing I like about it, a lot of the ones I've tried like this have a tint to them. And then I'm worried about that tint getting on my clothes or getting on like furniture. This has no tint. It's just got that shimmery glow and so I love it. I absolutely love this product. So this is one, I still have half mine left and I feel like I used it a lot. So um, yeah, highly recommend. Summer is like around the corner. So if you're someone that you know would use this kind of sunscreen for your body, absolutely love it. So the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighters, I'm not a big fan of these. I would avoid them. The one I've tried, the one shade I've tried was very, very shimmery. So the one I got was like the white one in Opulence. I would avoid, I would like to try another one one day. I feel like I say this in every Ulta sale video because this one's always on sale. But I just, because that one was so shimmery or like glittery, I just, uh, I just don't have an interest. Day 10, March 21st, they have the First Aid Beauty KP Lotion. This is that lotion I continually recommend that helps get rid of the red bumps like on your arms and legs. That's called Keratosis Polaris. My dermatologist told me that I definitely have it. Um, but these kinds of things actually do work, but you wanna like keep it up, you know, from time to time. So for me, I definitely notice a difference when I'm using it versus when I'm not. So typically I don't stress about using it like in the fall and winter, but when spring comes around, I'll pull it back out. I'll start using it on my arms and legs and it really, really does make such a difference. So if that's something you suffer, from. I feel like that's a strong term, but you know what I mean? If you have that, yeah, I would give it a try. I think you might be surprised because it really does actually work. So it'll be $14 instead of $28. Actually, I might rebuy that because I was gonna say, I'm probably about halfway through and knowing that I'll finish it, I might go ahead and buy that again. Um, they also have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush on sale for $12. These are their powder blushes. I think these are nice for 12 bucks. I would buy it. I would not buy it for 24 because I just think it's just a standard powder blush, but they are good. They last a long time and they're always really pretty on the cheeks. Day 11, March 22nd. So they have a bunch of Juvia's Place on sale. A lot of their lip products. They have their Nubian Glow Balm. That looks nice. But they also have some of their glosses. I've heard the glosses are pretty nice. They get really good reviews too. Um, but they also have minis of their like liquid lipstick. 
Yeah, they, like literally all of their lip products are on sale. So if you've ever been interested in any Juvia's Place lip, this would be the time to do it for sure. They also have, okay, this was one of the like best sellers and I am very curious as to why. This is the Live Tinted Hue Stick Multi Stick. So it'll be $12 on sale. There's like seven different shades. And it says you can paint your eyes, lips, and cheeks with the creamy buildable formula in this multi-stick. It goes on like butter, has a demi matte finish made for blending. Doing a full face has never been easier. I want to get one of them. I'd probably get the shade Intent because it's like a warm rose or True is a dusty rose. I'd probably only use it on my lips, maybe cheeks. Probably wouldn't use it on my eyes just because I wouldn't necessarily put that shade on my eyes. But... Like I said, I've heard this one's so good. And a lot of people that like love this brand, love this brand Live Tinted. So that one is like, if I were making a list of like the top five things I were wanting to try that were new, that would be on there. So I probably will buy that. Day 12, March 23rd, they have the Lancome Ray Energy Eye Night Day and Triple Serum. Why was that so hard for me to say? All 50% off, this is the first time this line has been on sale. And yeah, it's got an eye cream, a night moisturizer, and their triple, triple serum. Um, that's $140, so it'll be $70. Looks really nice. It says it helps improve volume loss, visibly reduce wrinkles, and brighten the appearance of dark spots. I just feel like if you are someone that you would wanna use like a cream, an eye cream, and a serum all from the same brand, this might be one to look at. Again, I have not tried it. Okay, day 13. Obviously, I'm not I'm not mentioning everything, you guys. This, this video is already gonna be long, and it, it would be way too long. Day 13, March 24th. The Too Faced Mascara, it is always a part of the sale. Not that that's a bad thing. If you love it, go for it. I don't think it's anything like, I think it's a good mascara, not great. Like it's not anything mind blowing, but I know some people, like some of you guys are loyal to it. And so this would be a great time to buy it. 14 bucks instead of 28. The Clinique Happy Perfume Spray is gonna be only $25. Um, I feel like if I'm remembering that scent right, it's a very, like, it's a good spring and summer scent. Oh, I love this stuff. The Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Lip Gloss is one of my favorites. It is so comfortable. Oh, it just glides on. It's one that's sheer. You can still see a little bit of your lips underneath it, but I just, I love that look. That one will be $16. I, what shade do I have? Is it? Let me see if I can find the name of it. Yeah, New Romantic is the shade I have. I would consider getting a more, cause that one's like pinky. I would consider getting more of like a new one, like Force of Nature looks like a medium brown. That looks kind of nice too. But yeah, that is a very comfy, like one of my favorites. Just leave it in the purse, you know? So day 14, they have the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. So this is kind of like a foundation moisturizer type product. Um, it's very illuminating. So I think if you have oily skin, you might not like it. For me, I can never find a good shade match for myself in the It Cosmetics range. Like I can tell you that I think the formula is nice if you have drier or normal skin, but I can never wear it because I can never find a shade match that works. However, from It Cosmetics, their It brushes are on 50% off sale that same day and their brushes are amazing. They are so soft. Uh, there's a reason you see so many like YouTubers or content creators using it cosmetics like foundation and face brushes because they are good. They are so good. So they're, gosh, they have a lot to choose from. I really don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Um, but especially, I know I've tried the 101. That is beautiful. And that's one that's similar to my Haley's one that I like that I use for cream bronzer. I feel like you could use this one and it would be 12 bucks. Day 15, Sunday, March 26th, the MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Spray. That is a holy grail setting spray. Like if I only owned one, it would really be between that one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. All the rest, I, I actually need to declutter and I probably would declutter all of them but those two. The Fix Plus for me, I feel like kind of helps with the makeup wear time, but for me, the magic is that it helps Take all of the layers of makeup you've put on, especially if you've used powder, and it just melts it all together. So it just looks a little bit better. And that's why it's been around for so many years. It will be $15 for the full size. That is awesome. The MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation will be $19.50. I have not tried that in years and years. I feel like it was just the Studio Fix Powder. Does this one just have like more coverage, I'm assuming? Which, listen, I'm all about a powder foundation. So this might be one. If I can get a good shade match for myself, I might consider just because, yeah, 48 options. I should be able to find a good shade match. <laughs> That's awesome. But they also have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I do love that stuff. And this is gonna be the time I finally buy 
a different shade because I have the shade Cherry Blossom and it's really pretty, but it's just not quite the right shade for like my everyday. And so I wanna try a different one. It'll only be $10. That stuff plumps your lips a little bit, but really it just makes your lips look so healthy. Like they just look good. They look good. And then the Tula Cult Classic Cleanser. That is a very nice cleanser. I've used an entire, I know I've used an entire bottle up. I might've used two. It's just a good cleanser. I don't know, like for $24, the $12 price is is just, I think it's worth the $12, maybe not the 24, but it is a really good cleanser. And that's one that's very, very popular on like TikTok and stuff. So if you've been dying to try it, this would be a good time. Dang, day 16, Monday, March 27th. I really do need to like take notes on this. So the Fresh Rose Facial Toner, which is one of my favorite toners, is gonna be 50% off, it'll be $23. This literally has like rose petals floating in it, which is just fun. I don't know, there's something about this that just made my skin look so healthy and hydrated. And I feel like a lot of times when I hear toner, I think, oh, it's gonna like strip the skin and really like deep clean it. But this one hydrates it. And it's just, it's just such a good product. I feel like it's so underrated. So that is definitely one that I haven't had in a while. I'm using right now the, CeraVe hydrating toner and I really like it. They're not quite the same like at all, but I do like that one too. But this one is just like, ooh, it's so good. They also have the, I'm actually wearing this today, the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Powder Foundation. That's what I put in my T-zone. It's been a few hours since I put it on and I feel like you're already seeing, I like the way my skin looks right now, but I feel like it did a good job of mattifying right away, but not mattifying so much. And I think that's what surprises me about this product every time is that it, it mattifies, but not an obscene amount. So if you're someone like me, that's kind of more like normal, it's kind of nice. Cause it's not wildly drying, but you know what I mean? It's kind of in between. Now, I think if you needed like severe oil control, I don't know that this would be the one for you, but I like the coverage level too, because I definitely feel like I always need that on my nose and that it's a good one for that. So they also have the um, KVD tattoo pencil eyeliner. I've never tried that. I did. I think I got it as a point perk or something. So I think I have a small version of it that I need to try because I wanted to see if it's like waterproof, like it really won't transfer from the waterline. But y'all, my Sephora one, the 12 hour liner, that is my new favorite. I'm not wearing it today because I don't have it with me. That is the best and it's like $11 and it is absolutely transfer proof. That stuff is incredible. So I'll link it below. There's like a million colors too. Day 17, they have, ooh, now hold on here. Well, first of all, oh, okay. If you buy one thing, if you have any issues with your brows and you want them to grow, you guys, I know I'm a broken record, so I'll say it quickly. The Grande Brow Serum, that's the stuff I use every night, is 50% off. It's gonna be $36. I will be buying two. <laughs> I just bought one recently, but I'm already like halfway through it. And so the thing about that is, as I always say, you have to keep using it. So buying it on sale is the way because $73 for one of those is a lot. I don't think I've bought it full price in a long time because it's, you know, I don't know that I've ever gotten it for this cheap. I'm trying to think if they, I think it, it was part of the sale previously. Maybe I did. $36 instead of 73. This is amazing. I'm absolutely buying two of them. I love it. Um, they also have the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. That stuff is luxurious. If you wanna like up your shower game, get that stuff. It smells really good too. They also have different treatments on sale. Let me see. So they have some Philosophy, some Origin, some Bosha, and Paracone MD, Claire's. Just different skincare stuff. I feel like with that, it's kind of overwhelming to just look at. So if there were a specific thing you were looking for, like you're looking for a vitamin C serum or you're looking for whatever, that would be I would say look into those, but none of those are like jumping out at me as like something you'd need to try. I mean, I don't know, maybe you do need to try. <laughs> All right, day 18, March 29th, they have the PMD Clean and Microderm. Is this the one I use? Oh, it's two separate products, okay. Yes, the PMD Microderm tool. I haven't used in a while, I wasn't using during pregnancy, and actually, I think I was maybe allowed to, I don't know. I just, I don't know, I was kind of leaving my skin alone during pregnancy and I haven't gotten back into it, but I definitely noticed a difference when I used that tool. So if you were like thinking about it, 50% off, cause it's originally $160. And then they also have their PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. I've never used that, I don't know. But yeah, the PMD, I need to pull that back out. Cause I just felt like it made my skin look a little bit more even toned. I felt like my fine lines were less obvious with it. 
pretty interesting. Okay, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Monos. There's one shade that Kelly Gooch always talks about, and I think it's Space Cowboy. And it's been popular for years and years and years, but I've never just tried it. I think this might be the time, baby. No, is it not part of it? Or is it like a different line? Maybe it's a different line. They have Half Baked. I do like that shade. Man, it's not a part of this, I guess. Well, anyway, eyeshadow singles from Urban Decay are gonna be 50% off. That's pretty awesome. Oh, this is one I was thinking about. The Clinique Moisture Surge. It's a tinted SPF. So they have their whole Moisture Surge line. But this one, I've always eyed and I've never bought, but I think at 50% off, I might buy it. Because I like these kinds of tints where there's a little bit of coverage, a little bit of SPF. Um, I would probably be the shade probably very light. It says it gives 12 hours of hydration, complexion, perfection, and protection all in one. That's probably gonna happen. I also like the packaging, okay? <laughs> I just do. <laughs> Day 19, Thursday, March 30th, Benefit Professional. Um, I like that primer again. As I've said, I'm not a big primer person, but I do think that the Professional one does blur the pores really well, actually. So that'll be $17. They have the Philosophy Purity Cleanser. That is a cult favorite for so many people. That'll be $16. The Nabla eyeshadow palettes are gonna be $12 to $19. The Side-by-Side -side palette is one that I've had my eye on for years and I've never actually bought, but I do like Nabla's eyeshadow formula. So that might be one I consider. Although if I'm, if I'm getting the REM one, I might just do one or the other and I really wanna try the REM one. Day 20, we're almost there. March 31st. They have the Bobbi Brown Face Base Eye Cream. I got really excited. I was like, oh, the Face Base, but it's the eye cream. I, if it's anything like the original Face Base, it's gonna be really good. I love the formula of that. I'm actually almost out of eye cream. Maybe I should just buy that. Eye cream's one of those things like you don't have to use, you can just use your moisturizer, but I like the action of applying eye cream, so I just always have one in my routine, you know? But they also have the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. I might get those. <laughs> I'm just kind of intrigued by it. I heard some other YouTuber was saying they use them and they absolutely swear by them. So thinking about that, and then they also have the Tula Day and Night Cream. I really like that cream. It's just a classic moisturizer that's just good, good ingredients. It feels nice, it blends in easily to the skin. So if you're in need of one, that'll be $27. Day 21, Saturday, April 1st, April Fool's Day, baby. Um, everything will be 100% off. <laughs> that would be funny if they put that. Just kidding. So the Lancome Lashy Doll, they have the waterproof version. So they have the original and the waterproof version on sale for uh, $13. I might buy it because I loved the Lashy Doll mascara formula, but it flaked so badly on me. And so I was begging for a waterproof version to be released and here it is. They did not hear me. I'm just saying it, it was also released. <laughs> And so I really wanna try it because if it's the same formula but just doesn't flake, I would be in heaven because that was so pretty. So very excited about that. The uh, Kylie eyeshadow palette and the Velvet Lip Kits are gonna be $16 instead of $32. The Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer is gonna be 50% off. I have of course tried the original Shape Tape and it was like I liked it. I think the hype was like a lot for what it was, but it was a good concealer. I have not tried the Ultra Creamy though and I think I would like this better. So it's kind of on my mind as a maybe if I were placing an order that day, I might toss that in. We'll see. So that's everything. They do have random surprise steals during the sale um, that you know will just pop up. And so I don't have access to those obviously, but that's the sale, baby. There's a lot more that I didn't mention. Again, if you click my link down below, you'll see the other ones, or at least you'll be able to see what's on sale for that day too, like other things I might not have mentioned because it's a lot. If you stuck through all the way to the end, Thank you so much. I have a question for you. In the comments below, answer this question. What is the one item that you are so excited about being a part of the sale? What are you gonna buy? I wanna know, um, is there anything I missed that's like a favorite of yours or something that you're dying to try that I didn't mention? Let me know that as well. I'm always curious and I love this too because a lot of times you'll fall in love with a product that you bought during the sale and then they'll have it on sale every time they do the sale, which is cool because you've fallen in love with it, you got it for 50% off, and then you get to buy it again in the fall or whatever, again for 50% off. So it's kind of a really nice, like, it just works really well. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful. Maybe not buying anything, you were just watching to see what's a part of the sale, 
Maybe you just wanted me to keep you company. I'm cool with that too. I love you guys. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you'll subscribe, of course, and I'll see you guys in my next one.